Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And today, Mr Quackers is back for tip and trick number 24. So this one is in relation to getting a straight edge. So I am using tip and trick number 23. I figured we would have this in action so that you guys see exactly how it does work when placing diamonds. But this tip and trick is in regards to getting a straight edge. Now, if you are working in the middle of the painting, quite often you've got the diamonds you've already placed to help you get a straight edge. I have discussed doing step diamond painting and doing checkerboard effect diamond painting in previous tips and tricks. But when you start, you tend to have a straight edge, albeit I've done quite a bit of Mr Quackers, so my straight edge is down the bottom. In fact, it might have been Mr Quackers that I first showed this tip mixed in with some others. Uh, this is the first time he's been a part of my individual tips and tricks series. But I like to use a gift card for a straight edge. So I have a very apt one. This is a hobby craft. It does need to go in my purse at some point. Otherwise, I'm never going to actually use it in hobby craft because it's constantly in my diamond painting things. It actually goes in my cover paper holder. It sits in there. Maybe one day it'll make it back to my purse. Maybe I'll have to see if I can get a second one off, the second one off them. Um, but... I like to use a gift card just to help me get that first straight edge. So you place it really quite close to, to your edge, but not you don't want to leave a big gap because you basically want to use it to butt against, but you don't want it too far in that all your diamonds go the wrong place. So take a little bit of time while you get your gift card, it could be a ruler, anything like that placed and then you start from the bottom and if you are doing a corner then get two gift cards and you use the edge of the gift card to butt against so i am doing of course a completely different section of mr quackers than what i should be i normally work from left to right but i needed a clean edge to work on so I'm stacking them like blocks, though they're not likely to fall. I'm going to put my hand down. Let's pretend it has a brew. Um, we'll zoom you in so that you can hopefully see a little bit more what I'm doing. But I'm still trying to keep my tray on my little mat from Purple Pelican all readily available. So my tray is staying put, the last tip and trick worked and I'm using my gift card for this tip and trick to place my diamonds and using the gift card to butt against as well as the diamond I've already placed. If I'm working on a corner then two gift cards it is. You can potentially still use um, a gift card somewhere in the middle of your painting. You do have to be really careful with that though. I mean, this painting is poured glue because it comes with the clear cover. I've added these opaque ones, but it comes with a clear cover. It is poured glue. And that canvas is a little bit more forgiving for you to be able to use the card to potentially place somewhere in the middle. With double-sided tape, you could find that it pulls it up. So you do need to be careful. But that is my straight edge. That can either stay there. If you do find that your diamonds move a little bit, then maybe leave your gift card there. There is a, such a thin sliver of an edge of glue over the edge of this canvas. I mean, it's tiny, it's probably two millimeters so less than a quarter of a centimeter less than the size of a diamond 
hanging off the edge, but it's enough to hold on to this, you know, it will let me take it off, but it's enough to hold on to it ever so lightly while I'm doing this. But you could keep it there. If you do find that your diamonds slide about, maybe um, sometimes it can depend on the glue you have on your painting. Sometimes it could be that you don't have a steady hand or you have quite a heavy hand and sometimes it causes the diamonds to move. So if need be, leave your gift card there to stop your diamonds being nudged off the end of the canvas and you can just keep building up your different sections. If you were going to use a gift card, say in the middle, you decided you actually wanted to start over here, I would be tempted to hold your gift card, which if you use step 23, tips and tricks 23 and have a mat for your tray, you can do, but I'd be more tempted to hold it the reason being then it's not touching as much of the glue because the primary reason for this glue is for your diamonds to stick to. You really don't want to be sticking a gift card to it, especially don't use a paper one. This only works with the plastic gift cards. If you put one that's cardboard, you could find that you have the messages from that gift card imprinted for life um, but they can be used somewhere else I would just hold it so that you're only putting that very thin sorry I <laughs> forgot I zoomed in so you're only putting that very very thin edge against your canvas and then you're butting up to it that way but it can be done so if you like straight edges whether your edges be in the middle of the canvas or more importantly on the far side of your canvas. Get yourself a gift card of some sort. If it's a gift card that makes you smile, all the better. Um, maybe it could be a gift that you got for Christmas, you spent the money on it and you've still got the card. Pop that one in with your diamond painting goodies or in with your cover paper like I do and you've got one handy and ready for every time you come across that straight edge. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.